This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Photographer Jessica Whitaker here, and we are in Washington, D.C. Just kidding, we're in Washington State at the Capitol in Olympia. I'm going to be sharing with you my best tip for framing and angles. Stay safe and wear a mask. Follow all the CDC guidelines, whether you're on location at a photo shoot or in your day-to-day -day life. Before we get into the video, I wanna thank Squarespace for making this free tutorial possible. A photo speaks a thousand words, but a polished and professional portfolio can get us those thousand dollar clients. Enter Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for websites and domains. Photographers, it's time to be done settling for slow loading websites with tedious plugins. I trust Squarespace's all-in-one platform to keep me booked and busy. Pick from one of their dozens of contemporary drag and drop layouts, host your custom domain and email with them, and even conduct successful email campaigns. Everything you need to run a successful photography business under their umbrella and at your fingertips. You can head to squarespace.com to begin your free trial and when you are ready to launch your beautiful professional website, you can go to squarespace.com slash Jessica Whitaker to get 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. We're going to begin with the first mistake which is framing people improperly framing their subject in a way that is distracting. They have a beautiful backdrop, something with lots of detail, but the subject, our couple, gets lost within it. The backdrop is actually working against our final result, which is something that we want our eyes to be drawn onto the couple. They're the main focus. Rather, the background is too distracting. In this case, the Capitol building here in Washington State is a great example because we have all this beautiful architecture happening. We have the pillars, the columns, we have all of these geometric lines. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place Genevieve and Darren in a particular way where actually all this beautiful architecture is going to lead down to them versus be a distraction. I have a 24 millimeter on me right now and I want to get the very tippy top of the capital. That's why I have the 24, the widest lens in my kit. I have the option to actually have them tucked under all of these stairs. Another thing that I'm doing is I also have them right in the center where they are actually directly underneath this middle door. So your eye actually is going from the top of the Capitol building all the way down to those doors to so that beautiful detail and then directly to, down to the couple. Now we're gonna talk about angles and I have lots of videos on this topic but I really wanted to include it in this video because this can make or break your images and it can make them look natural or stiff and awkward. And I've already done a whole video about how to make your photos, how to make your couple more natural on camera, more comfortable with posing, but angles can really play into it. So we have um, Genevieve and Darren up here on this beautiful balcony. This could look horrible really fast though. And let me tell you why. It has nothing to do with the couple, with it looking flattering for them, like with their face or body or anything. It's about the setting. So if I'm down here and I switch to my 50 millimeter and I'm just gonna get a quick shot, you know, I'm, I'm not really putting much thought into it, but oh man, I love this location, right? I'm like loving it. This looks like I am almost paparazzi on the ground. To me, it doesn't look natural because of how this weird, I'm, I'm low, it's just an awkward angle. So instead, I still wanna get the balcony and I still wanna get the Capitol building in it. So I'm just going to reposition myself. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come and find an area where I can be a little bit more at their eye level while still being able to capture the background. Found our angle that we like now, but now we need to adjust the pose to work in uh, correlation with the angle because this now still looks unnatural. So I'm actually gonna have, um, this is gonna be a really cute little moment. I'm gonna have you um, both face each other and Genevieve, you're gonna put your arms around his neck and Darren, you're gonna scoot closer to the pillar so I see more of Genevieve. Beautiful. Now turn your bodies a little bit, twist them a little, yeah, perfect. And scoot even closer back, or sorry, even further back, Darren. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so Genevieve, you're gonna look down and even drop that front hand for me. Um, put your hand on his chest, sorry. Perfect, and then Darren, you're gonna give her a kiss. Actually now give her a kiss on the temple, or on the forehead. Okay, so now I've changed the angle and I've also changed the pose to be more of this kind of like a little secret moment. 
they're just getting a little moment together and it looks a lot more intimate, right? So, and it also is more flattering because I'm getting them more at eye level. Let me show you what this looks like, this pose, the further down angle. I just, I don't feel like I'm getting that intimate moment, that look into their, you know, their relationship basically. I feel like this is closer. It makes more sense with the pose. We have more detail, more interest versus something like this. All of the focus is on the lower half because my camera is low. Look at all the tension goes, it basically your eye goes to the suit bringing the camera up. It's so simple and it makes the world a difference. This is another example of angles. Instead of me shooting low, where then I'm just kind of only, there's no waistline. I'm gonna instead shoot higher. It's going to open up the body more. I'm going to be able to get the waist in it and it overall looks more natural. So I'm shooting from a higher angle where I'm seeing Genevieve's waistline and I'm, I'm not, her body is proportioned with the lens. I'm getting equal top and equal bottom half versus if I shot from low, um, her body, it closes up, the legs look shorter, and it's not as flattering. It doesn't look as natural either. So just this quick little switch opens up everything and makes th things look a lot more flattering.
you want to check out the full set of images that are down below on my website and be sure to hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you're the first to know when new photography tutorials for your business come out. If you're looking for a photography community that's kind, encouraging, and inclusive, be sure to check out my Build and Bloom Photography Facebook group. It's free to join and it's a great place to receive other perspectives, ask questions, and get insight on your work. Follow along on Instagram at Jessica Whitaker for more daily tips, tools, and resources for your photography business. I believe in you and I believe in your business and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.